the internet. My name's Lar. Welcome back to my channel. So today I was just kind of hanging out down here in my plant room and trying to come up with an idea for a video tomorrow because I'm like that. I kind of wait until the last minute and then I'm like, oh, that would be a great idea. And for the most part, that has worked for me. But today I'm not really, I don't have like a solid idea of something that I really wanted to do. And so I'm sitting down here just kind of poking around at everything and I'm like, well, that could be a video. I'm just going to show you guys some of the maintenance that I have that I wanted to, just little things. I want to create some propagations, pot up some propagations. I'll show you, show you some of the things that I've already done while I was down here trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, maybe I'll show off some of my new growth to you guys. It'll just be kind of a, I'm hanging out in my plant room and I'll show you guys what I've been doing kind of day. You can let me know if you are interested in that by continuing to watch. So, let's go. Okay, so a couple of things that I already did while I was down here. Um, first off, I was feeling kind of guilty about my little new butterworth plant, which I found out people call pings for short, this particular type of carnivorous plant, and I thought that was the most adorable thing ever. So now I am calling them pings. But anyway, I had this cool jar. As you can see, it's kind of narrow and then wide and then narrow again. And I decided that I was going to stick my little ping down in there so that he can have kind of a terrarium-like experience, but the flies can still get in very easily on the top. And he just sits just so cute in there that yes that looks much better than the little ugly plastic pot that I had him in which was just bleh. so there he is hopefully I have not moved him too much recently we'll find out but he's been doing pretty gangbusters so I'm hoping that he'll be okay in here and then I'm gonna leave him like this just forever um so that guy one of the other things that I did was I took a whole bunch of plants that I had um, propagating in some moss or growing some roots. These are all succulents. All of them are succulents, yes. And they were propagating and now I have put them into all of these adorable little two and a half inch pots that I got from Michael's of all places because Lowe's doesn't carry the smaller size pot and then Michael's does, I guess because, you know, you want them more for crafting? I don't know. I think that they're perfect for little succulents because of how quickly they can dry out. So I've stuck all these guys in here. Um, I have, I, I don't even know the names of all of these. This is, uh, there's some echeverias in here. I think this is the copper spoons. Copper spoons. Um, this is actually my Haworthiopsis tessellata. It's a little baby that like looked like it was dying and then I stuck it in some sphagnum moss and it now has a root about yay big. Um, one of my aloe Christmas carols and a firestorm sedum I'm pretty sure that's just, I took the head off of it and then stuck it on some moss and it grew roots. Um, I have had some oddly good success with putting succulents in sphagnum moss you know, wet sphagnum moss and having them be like, we're good here. I've had one or two where they just kind of rotted out, but for the vast majority of them, they actually are kind of happy with that, which I'm a little surprised about, but I'm not going to complain. I'm having luck with it. Uh, I am also very happy to report that my Hoya compacta is really finally starting to grow. Look at that whole new vine thing it's got coming out here and it's got some some new leaves on some of these. Not every, oh no, even this one. I was about to say, this one over here didn't have any growth points and now I can see tiny little, I'm not even sure you're going to be able to see, tiny little growth points coming on there. So this one, this one, this is the only other one that I haven't seen any new growth from. Okay, so we've only got one one of the four growth points that looks like it's not growing, but three out of four is not bad. So 
It looks like this guy has finally managed to acclimate to my house and is doing rather well. And it does not need water right now, so I am all good about that. I've also been very, very happy, and I think I'm going to bring this down, um, with my... Actually, I'm going to turn you guys around. I have also been really, really happy with my Maculata Whitey Eye. It has given me this new leaf here. So that, that guy, which has gotten pretty big, it's given me this new leaf here. It's got all these, um, and then there's a tiny little one down here. That little guy down there is growing. And I've got a new leaf coming out up here. So this guy seems to be happy with whatever I'm doing. And then there's a new growth point there. Happy with what I'm doing. Um, all this damage that I got on the leaves from transporting, none of it has gotten any worse. Um, so we've, we've managed to stop whatever stress it was getting there, but the new leaves are coming in real nice. They're looking beautiful. They're getting big. Um, and, and I'm, I'm just super happy because I don't know, because this was one of those plants that people said was like rare. And it was until Costa Farms like put out a whole bunch of them. For some reason, I assumed it would be really difficult to take care of, but I just, I might just have a really, really good area for begonias, which is great because I love them. So that is my maculata, which I, hangs out right next to my humidifier. You can see that. The humidity is a little low today because it's actually quite cold. Like it just got cold today. Um, and so the heat's been going, and so that, of course, drives down the humidity. But for the most part, I've been sitting between 50 and 60% humidity. And uh, like you saw, I am even still sitting between 50 and 60% humidity. Um, my, and I, I just want to show this off on camera because I haven't had it yet. This is my begonia breakdown. Yep. And it has these beautiful flowers and the little flowers there starting this is these flowers are starting to fall off so at a certain point I'm gonna have to just cut that whole thing off because they get really messy but I've just been really happy with I mean just that is a large bunch of flowers I've just been so happy with this plant I know you guys know I've been happy with this plant but I cannot stop being happy with this plant um, some of you guys might remember that I was having problems with my Syndapsis Pictus, and for whatever reason, at a certain point, I just suddenly got roots, like huge roots, like they were sitting around for months and now suddenly they're getting roots. I don't know if it's because more light during the spring or whatever, but I planted up the other ones and they're still looking rough. This is about half of what I had. They're looking a little rough. But I'm probably going to get rid, I'm probably going to plant these guys up as well to, and, um, and then see if this bunch does better than that bunch did. I don't know. At this point, I'm just going to kind of stick them all in water and they're either going to live or die because, I mean, that's a decent amount of roots there. So, all right, we're going to do that. Okay, and so I potted up two of these and when I pulled this all out I realized that I've got one in there that still doesn't have any roots on it at all so these guys grew like amazing and beautiful and really long roots and that one did not so he's going to continue to sit in there and this guy is actually going to now be in soil and there you go <laughs> and I know this video is all over the place but oh well um my angel trumpet did finally stick out some blooms they came out rather white but now that and then they, they sat around for a little while and now most definitely the peach that i was expecting um and even you can see it's got a little bit of the variegated speckles on it um this one is already dying um but it still has some of the variegated speckles on it and I brought it back inside because the wind has been fierce and as you can see it was getting kind of ripped up out there so I was like okay you're just coming back inside 
Um, I also have my tomato plants in because it was 33 last night and that is very close to frost. So they're just hanging out there. But the reason I brought you guys over here is because this string of bananas has been annoying me. It is beautiful and long. It comes all the way down here. And the thing that bothers me though is that number one, it looks terrible up top. Um, it seems to keep drying out like it doesn't have enough water and none of the banana none of the bananas are getting very big like they're all staying kind of small and not large and so I figure what's probably happening is that it's not getting enough water in this pot so I'm going to do two things I'm going to up pot it to a bigger size pot and I'm going to trim this off probably about there so and um, propagate all of the the bottom bits and then stick them back up in the top and then I'm going to take that pot that is a four inch pot and I'm going to put my rickrack cactus into that pot and then that's going in that six inch pot down there that one um so that's what I'm doing next. Sorry for the back lighting. Mm. All right, and now I've got them all in this. It's probably rather large, but I like the way that it ha holds them up there and like holds them into the water, the, 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 the shape of this neck. So now I just have to find a place to put it near the window so we can get some light. I also have a subscriber that had asked for a piece of my Queen of the Night, so I have taken a cutting from there, and I'm going to attempt to root it before I give it to her, because, well, truthfully, I've never, the last time I, I rooted a Queen of the Night, I had no idea what I was doing, so I want to kind of give it a, a shot now. Um, and then, when I, when I trade with her, it will already have roots, so it will just be more convenient for her. So, hopefully. If not, then I can always just give her a <laughs> different leaf. But So, there's that. And I also wanted to take some cuttings of my Triscanthia Nanook. I think that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, I'll put it down below. But So, I cut off these three guys, and I'm going to propagate them in some water. Um, I know that... Some people are rather interested in this plant, so I might be able to get some good trades for that too. And I repotted the Nanook into a larger pot. It was very, very root bound, um, which I knew because I was having trouble keeping it watered. So hopefully now it will grow into this new pot and continue to do well. Um, hmm. Yeah, so. And I have repotted the string of bananas and the brick rack cactus. Um, this guy, I was super unhappy with the soil. It the, the water would just run straight through every time, and so I um, I took a whole bunch of the soil away from the roots and put my soil, and now it's actually soaking up the water. And this guy was not. Um, not root bound or anything like that, but like I said, I've never had problems with keeping a succulent watered enough, and this guy just, I never was able to keep him watered enough, so I'm hoping that the little bit of extra moisture retention from the plastic pot will help with that. It did not cost $9.99, that was a different plant. <laughs> but... I think that is going to end up being the end of my video. That is most of what I wanted to do today. And um, I know that this video is probably going to end up being rather haphazard. Because I just kind of... I didn't want to have to take the entire me doing everything. Because then the video would be really long. So I'm just kind of going to give you guys a bunch of clips. And you can let me know if that doesn't work. For you um, and hopefully by next week I will have another idea of something that I would like to do it very possibly will just be a look at my begonias because 
I've been, I don't know, I've been kind of wanting to do a begonia, like a show off my begonia collection thing. So that might end up being the next video, but we'll see. I'm not going to promise anything. And so if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give me a comment so I know why. And if you want to stick around either way, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for spending some time with me today. I will see you guys in the next video, which may or may not be begonia related. Bye-bye.